two different men at two different points in history were nailed to this windmill. Now we've all heard of the Kennedy curse, but have you heard of the Debray curse? Probably not, because it's not a thing, I did just make it up. We're on our way to the Moulin de la Galette, or the Blue Fan windmill, which was built in 1622. And the name Blue Fan comes from the French verb blouté, which means to sift flour. But this windmill has been known for a lot more than just its sifting capabilities. It sits in the heart of Montmartre, where Parisians would go seeking entertainment, and has been immortalized in paintings by Van Gogh, Renoir, and Pizarro. The windmill was owned by the Debray family, a humble family of millers. But sadly, at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, during the Siege of Paris in 1814, three Debray men lost their lives defending the windmill from the Cossacks, and the miller was killed and nailed to the wings of the windmill. And then, during the Franco-Prussian Wars in 1870, Montmartre was attacked again by 20,000 Prussian soldiers, and Pierre Charles de Bray was killed and nailed to the wings of the windmill. Different man, same windmill. Following France's crushing defeat in the Franco-Prussian War, Moulin de la Galette rebranded as a viewing tower and dance hall, but the windmill is still standing strong.